What's up, boys and girls? We're coming to you not from our car today. <laughs> so we should be should be coming in a little more clear. Should be able to hear us a little better than last last week. I didn't I'll be honest with you, I didn't watch last week's because I heard the echo was so bad. I was like, I'm just not gonna Dead. watch this. Like don't like I heard it's so, bro, we should just delete it. Like it was that bad. Yeah. Yeah. No, I tried to watch it. I don't understand why it was reverbing so bad. Like I, I'm pretty sure I muted the mic on my, on mine. Well, I but I did have doing. the sound playing through the truck. I think what I think it was mm. doing was that yeah, it was uh, that's it was what it was. Through. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Way to anyway. go, Cody. Yeah, whoops. We tried. I mean, we were we were literally on the end of the earth in. in uh, <laughs> It was a super fun trip. What, so yeah, fifteen so miles was, from. The- yeah. Just to catch everybody up, we went um, last week. We went and visited Joe because uh, he had his uh, retirement, so we went and surprised him. So me and Cody got a got a surprise visit. We jumped in the car, went to go see him, and we had a good old time. So it was super fun. And then we worked on. We had some videos we worked on, which was the Cerakote for the Tika, which you guys haven't seen yet. But then we released the video for. Which which color was that again, Joe? Oh, uh, Kraken. The Kraken. Sorry. Yeah. Are you gonna are you gonna say the color of yours or are you gonna keep it a surprise? I, I've already shown a little bit of it. Um so it's kinda hard to see though. I was kinda surprised as to how much the, the gun candy Cerakote, like how much you it it does not get picked up in um, photographs or video or video you can kind of see it, but like I think you have to see it from like as the light changes to really catch it. Like a single picture doesn't really catch it very well. Um, so my uh, it doesn't if, at all. No, I like, don't think even even Gun Candy's like Instagram doesn't even do those colors justice. No, because like, you, mm-hmm. you don't see like, it. Yeah. Sorry, Cody. No, I mean I, you'll see some in the videos uh, that Walsh recorded, but you know when Joe would mix it up, it would be one color. He'd put it on the gun it'd be one color you go take it out in the sun it's another color it's it's just cool paint uh and we really uh, we really had a good time hanging out um we finally got to meet and hug jason in person so that was cool so yeah what up harry just want to say hello so very harry baloney saying hello uh misfit says hey fellas almost forgot about the chat tonight yeah i know because we we messed it up last week and we gave you that Gave you the, the, the junk one. Uh, Misfit, yeah. I did want to tell you, um, I know you are you won our optic from last week from Cyclops. He sent me over the uh, all the tracking info, and and Jason gave me your email, so I need to send that over to you. If you haven't received it already, let me know if you got your the other one you won, which was the small light. Um, so, yeah, Joe, anything you wanted to talk about or add on to your video from the, the Gun Candy Kraken video? And I'll talk yeah, about so- the human we did. I'm trying to tear that thing apart right now, but my pivot pin is uh, giving me bananas, oh. giving me fits. Hey, let me ask you, if so according to the ATF definition of a firearm, right, it has to be able to fire to be a firearm, right? So what if I show this without a bolt carrying group in it? Is that still a firearm? But you got to also consider it's Facebook. Yeah. Trying to, what if I only- Facebook's pop. What if I only hold it up and show half of it? Like to Facebook, I'm sorry, Facebook and YouTube. This is a this could be a firearm. If you say the yeah, word, this is it's so, small and concealable. This yeah. is like what if I this just, is an AR. What if I just do this? Huh? Uh, yeah, I think. And this, so that's pretty dark, and you can't even tell. Yeah, you can't tell. It's just yeah, straight. you can't even tell. Yeah, painted right. Uh, no. So yeah. I would. I was just thinking to myself, shoot, I forgot to get my flashlight, but luckily. I have my O light that comes off. Yeah. So you can see all the purple in it that way. Yeah. And the and teal. Funny, so yeah. It's straight teal when you look at it though. Like that's what's so confusing. Is yeah. like in the light. Look at the picture. Yeah, yeah. Watch the video purple. and look at the picture at the end. Like the video was taken outside in the sun, but it it was actually in a shaded area. And then the photo were taken like direct sunlight and it's straight up teal. Like I don't even know if I would have painted it this color if I would have known how teal it was going to be, but I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. So I can't complain. Um, I really want to try the Mako. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, yeah. Uh, if if the video does terrible, it's all your guys' fault. I'm letting you know right now. It's Walsh's fault. 
Wilson fault for making me do it, and then everybody else at fault for egging him on. Oh, I'll watch that. So if it fail, it's your own fault. But um, no, it it went really well. Hopefully, somebody can watch that and and see, you know, oh maybe I can do this in my garage instead of paying somebody five hundred to a thousand dollar to paint their firearms. Um, that's what got me started, I guess. So, oh yeah, that's ooh, the key. Yeah, we'll get that in a minute. We'll get that in a minute. Yeah. Um, so Is hopefully the video does that. I can't show too much of the video because then YouTube will pull it off because we're uh, anything dealing with firearm, anything making, manufacturing, I mean, anything like that, YouTube get all been out of shape. But hopefully I showed enough and there's enough in the information book that you get with Cerakote that um, that people can at least try it. Just just try it, man. Just try it. It'll go on plastics. So try it with an airsoft gun first to see how you like it, see if it's going to hold up, see if, if that's what you want in a firearm. It will scratch. It will chip. I don't care how you apply it. It will do that. Um, so I just don't care. I do most of my gun distressed. So yeah, yeah but and for the gun candy, it went on super easy. It's actually really easy to apply. You guys saw it firsthand. Um, yeah, it's easy to apply, but hard to see if you got full coverage, right? Because of all the shadow, it makes it look black almost. And you're like, Oh, is that, is that a black spot or, and then you shine some light on it and you're like, Nope, there's plenty there. <laughs> Like we have to go. There. Like Joe would spray it, and he'd be like, "All right, somebody else get a new set of eyes on this." Like, and we'd all go and like take flashlights and look over it, and, and see if he needs to do a second or third coat, uh, just to double check it, because it, it was it's hard to see. Like, you get the wrong kind of light, and you're like, "Oh, you missed this whole underside of the handguard." Like, well, no, no, never mind. Like, once you shine light on it, you can see you got it. Um, but Misfit said he thought it, it turned a out great. So, cloud of, yeah, thanks, Misfit. There's a literal cloud of uh, glitter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, all around. It's like uh, Charlie Brown. What is Lionel or whatever? The, Linus. The clouded dirt. Yeah, Linus. It was like that, only with glitter. Oh, you see this from Misfit? Oh. I'm trying to get the courage to rattle can my AR pistol. Don't, I, don't I, rattle can it. What are you going to tell him? Just what, I, Yeah, Misfit, I, I, can, I, can, I can do. do yeah. Put, put your money into Cerakoting. You need a compressor, which is the most expensive part. So you need a compressor. You need a, a $20 spray gun. You need maybe oh, okay. at most, including Cerakote and everything, $200 worth of materials. And you'll get all that money back in, in the first three paint jobs that you do for other people. Just charge somebody so, like $150 for a single color, which is ideal for anybody. Spray it up for them. Bake it. Oh, and you need a $120 oven to bake it in. Yeah. But it's not like... It's not horrible. The prices aren't horrible. Someone's going to make you do stencils, though. You're going to have this jerk friend of yours that's going to make you yeah. do cryptic, like your very first one, though. No, they're going to make you do all these uh, uh, hexagon stencils, <laughs> and they're going to want, like, the, the whole gun in one hexagon. So then you put your artistic mind in it, and you're like, no, I'm going to do all the different sizes. Here and, we go. And position them in different go. ways. Put it over the whole gun. I'm going to incorporate blue into it because it's going to be beautiful. I'm going to do mm. gray, black, and blue. And and I even had my daughter asking me, like, Dad, what what happened if Walsh doesn't like it? I'm like, well, if you don't like it, then I'll just pay him what he had in the gun, and I'm keeping this thing because it's awesome. And yeah, then Walsh yeah. got it and thought it was the best thing ever, and then he sold it a year later. <laughs> I was wondering I was wondering when that gun was going to come up in this conversation. We did talk about that when we were at, uh, when we were at Joe's. I was like, I'm just going to buy this stupid gun just so I don't have to hear about it anymore. Like, I just don't want to hear any more yeah. about it. Uh, if I ever get that gun back, it's 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 going to be hung right there for every, on the wall. For every live right chat. there, right oh, there. Good grief! So uh, everybody oh, can not see me, it. not me. Uh, so we did do, we did do the Tika also, um, yeah. and it, it's kind of hard to see how well this came and looked. We got to work with, um, I, I was another pistol we sprayed too that looked really good. Uh, so here I like this picture because you can kind of see how gold it is compared to how green it is. Um, I don't know what other photos are on there. Yeah, we did a good job on that one. We did a couple highlights, right? We did the main body and the handguard. Then yeah. we did the comp, and then just the bolts for the yeah. the cheek riser. Let me see if this will play. Will this play? Oh yeah, okay. So here you can see yeah, like that. See that play. color change? Get, Miss Big, get out of here. Um, <laughs> so you can see how it goes. Yeah, to that going color. green to gold. Yeah. And now so that that color surprised me because when we mm -hmm. mixed it up, the 
the floth, floth. Super yellow. I can't even say it. Yeah. Floth. Yeah, it went pink. It was pink. It had yeah. red in it. Remember yeah, the, the, the foam went red. pink. And I'm like, oh, great. Yeah. That's going to turn out. So I, went, I was painting Walsh's gun, and then I was painting Sean from We Like Shooting. I was painting his gun. We just had kind of a paint and drink party. Okay. Um, yeah, it was fun. But I, I thought I was going to mess up. And then I also thought, because of the way that the Kraken came out, I thought the gold was going to be able to be seen in the sunlight, and then it wasn't going to be green until in the in the shade. Yeah, but and it's it opposite. Acted, it, it's opposite. It's way green in the sunlight and more goldish in the shade. You missed it. You said that gun, that gun comes up every week. That damn six five. Yeah, I, I'm gonna have to yeah, get it, it back because I just <laughs> I want to stop hearing about it. I could gravy. <laughs> You yeah, I, I really love the way I really love the way the Tika came out. So big thanks to Joe. Thanks for coming, having us come out and and, and getting to do the whole process. Uh, Joe, it was kind of funny, like when we went out there, because he's like, because you know me, I don't I don't know what he does for his like magical process. So I'm like, okay, here you go. He's like, what do you mean here you go? Here you go. He just gives me the tools. I'm like, oh, okay, we're doing this. So um, he did awesome. I was working on his um, Kraken video. He was giving me grief. He was like, quit screwing around. You got stuff to paint. And I'm like, yeah, I'm yeah. really working on your video. Yeah, but <laughs> so, it, was it was awesome cool. having you and Sean ripping apart the guns and then cleaning them. Like, that's that's half the work right there, man. No, it, It's easy it to mix up and spray, but it's, yeah, the, it's a pain. The painting was pretty obnoxious. I mean, not the painting. The, the cleaning... The cleaning was obnoxious because you got to be you got to be meticulous. Um, mm -hmm. You want to make sure you get a good bonding service. And we both we both bought you uh, that. We both brought you dirty guns too. Like there was nothing clean about either. The, they were just using the yeah. rifles. And both so, both gun had issues. So you had a screw that the the Allen was stripped, or the hexagon hole in the screw was stripped, and then Sean had his little hex that holds his bolt catch bolt release was stripped out. So. It was good having you guys here. So then I'm like, well, it's your gun. <laughs> yeah. If you break yeah. it, if you break it, I'm not responsible. <laughs> You're like, don't, don't put that back in there. Like, we're putting that, we'll put that bust up screw back in there. <laughs> yep. It went back in there. Whatever. For anybody that doesn't know, Cody, Cody said it. He said, hey, get a Torx and hammer it in there. I said, that's what I don't think of Cody. Yeah. Hammered, yeah. hammered a Torx in there, got it out, and then Walsh well, put it back in there with the Torx. It's not tight. <laughs> He'll be able to get it out. <laughs> we hope. <laughs> so what happened was uh, on the on the Tika, just in case you guys aren't aware, the the handguard's actually removable, but it uses two screws that actually um, connect up the action and the body to keep the what barrel nut from rotating. Is that right, Joe? Yeah, that's um, what I think it is. Yeah, the barrel and, nut from rotating. And so one of the the main screw was totally fine, but the bottom one, um, which is actually visible, I'm surprised I didn't notice it, was all like wallered out. I don't know what the heck someone did to it. Someone just like went crazy on it. Um, so I don't know. I don't know what happened. That's probably you when you first got it. The other screw went yeah. fine because it was protected by the handguard. Yeah. That one, you're like, like, I wonder what this does. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, we do have a. There was a BRN 180 that, like, we basically did a video chat with Jason, and I'm sitting there like, just tighten this one. He's like, Yeah, that one. And it's like, Whoa, pow! Like, mm, mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> oh, That's for all of our viewers, I finally learned why Walsh uses a uh, torque wrench for everything, and now I. I've always given Walsh heck about using torque wrench for everything. Joe, what's the torque spec on that? Dude, I don't know. Good and tight. You know, right. half a grunt. Something like that. And he always used torque stuff. And now, after seeing him reassemble that gun, I completely understand why. And he needs to continue to use torque values for everything he puts together. <laughs> torque the crap out of everything yeah. oh a little <laughs> plastic screw let me just, <laughs> just it in there. it'll never come out again that, i can show oh. that well installed whoops this is a foot pound torque wrench not an in, inch pound torque wrench i did there was so. something that I, I actually i ordered i had ordered a torque wrench i needed to go to 75 and no yeah, yeah 75 and i and i wasn't paying attention and i got it out and it was an Amazon torque wrench. I was like, oh, perfect. It came in. And I like, set it. And I was like, I go to tighten it. I'm like, that's really, like, this thing should already be at 75. And it's really easy. I'm like, oh. it's like, yep, that's a foot pound. We'll send that back. It's the right one. <laughs> like, but it took like, a split second. I was like, mm, yeah, that was way you too You do easy. not, for turning wrenching, you do not have a calibrated elbow. You do great working on heavy machinery, though. I just, I just smash everything into place. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. Permanent installation yeah. process. So it was awesome. You know, uh, Walsh and Cody coming out and Jason, all four of us. First time ever all four of us were in the same location. 
Yeah. Uh, first time I think I've we only seen got Walsh one since... picture of that. I think we did. Get yeah, I think so. Picture. I do need to share that. I think I think I have it. I can't. No, I have it. I, I no, we were at your we we is one you haven't seen. Oh no no, was it? You have the only one of all of us, don't you? I have uh, me and Cody and Jason when we were sitting in the crowd. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but Walsh, I I hadn't seen you in person since what 12, 13? Yeah. When, when did we go? When did we go down to uh, Mississippi? I think it was 2012. Yeah. So it's yeah. Been like 10 years. Yeah. Like, seen Cody, good. seen Cody, and seen Jason multiple times, but yeah, it was it good. Was, it was awesome. Yeah, it was a great time. It was definitely good. We went to the 511, the 511 store, and we're all like, "Look at this! Look at this ridiculousness!" Like, I've yeah. seen this wonderful carrier. We're like, eh, "It's pretty expensive. We've seen some better yeah. ones." Three hundred dollar <laughs> for a plate carrier. Yeah, like that's my whole setup for the LA police <laughs> like, gear. But have you been to LA police gear? I'm thinking you haven't been there. Yeah, I did buy a pair of boots from them. I I broke down, but yeah. your boots, you know, your feet are. If you're on your feet all day, which I will be up my next job, your feet are your lifeblood, man. Ooh, I missed a comment from Misfit. Um, so he said he got the light this week. Uh, thanks. Let me know when um, the optic shows up. I would love to get if you can get me a picture. I'd love to share it on our social media and everything else. So yeah, either with the light, yeah. um, the optic. Whatever you got, I know. I know we have yeah. your T-shirt for you. I, oh, we're gonna and include really include out. something. Do do something cool. Don't just take a picture of an optic. If we could have taken that, but do something cool. Get your family or your dog involved, or yeah. But but make sure that we can share it on social media. I, I say think that. I think we still owe Harry a T-shirt. We do. Do we? Yeah, we do. So Harry, don't don't. We did forget. Harry, we did, you. But we just remembered. <laughs> okay. We do. I do. We do own a T-shirt. I got to get everything over to Jason. We've just been all crazy busy with everything else going on. Oh, I'm man. glad you it's been stupid busy. We can blame the it on Jason. Photo with, yeah. Go ahead. I'm glad you prefaced the photo with it having to be kid friendly because I'm pretty sure Miss It would have taken a picture sitting in a chair with just a scope covering everything up. <laughs> yeah. Don't don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> oh my. God. As long as it's covered, though, we might still be able to share it. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. Let's try it. Cover that in oh, your belly button. Man? I think you should be good. Yeah, so Dan, up, Dan? Thanks, bud. Congrats to Joe for Friday, brother. You're the man. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it, buddy. Uh, Misfit says, I'll make sure to send a pic of all my loot. Yeah, wear clothes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, whatever you want to do. Make oh, it fun, but. Didn't Misfit have a like, – wasn't there a class you were going to do? Why do I keep thinking that? I know there's the one he did before, but I, for some reason I kept thinking there's another one he was going to do. Am I just no, he was going to do a Sunday, Sunday gun day. Oh, that's what it was. I can't remember what he, I remember he was saying. I'm getting all my weeks. We got, we'll get Jerry. We'll get y'all hooked up so you can get some cool stuff. And you can run around your house with all your gear on. And your, and your significant other can be like, what yeah. are you doing? Like, I'm with my, yeah. these are my friends. I'm with my <laughs> yeah, friends. Don't, leave me alone. You're <laughs> doing hood rat shit. <laughs> this, is, this is cool. <laughs> Have you seen, what is it, Role Models? That was a great movie. Yeah. I need to rewatch yeah. that. <laughs> uh, I need to rewatch that. Oh, so I want to show you guys this. And me and Cody are going to – so we're going to give everybody a bit of a sneak, tea, uh, sneak peek at this. So I have all of these Odin. So when I went and saw uh, Joe, there's all these different um, Odin lights we're playing with. And he actually gave me – Jason gave me the other ones and because we're going to compare all three. So we have the mini, we have the normal Odin, and then we have the Odin turbo. So I want you guys to see this. I found this to and be – we, And then we have the shot Odin. And we have the shot one. So, but look at this, Joe. I want to, and I want to see the throw of this. So, this is like the Ode Mini, which is this is actually my absolute favorite because um, yeah. it's tiny. So, it has a good yeah. bit of light throw and a good bit of like circle and everything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Miss Finn. Oh, did you say comparison? Odin Turbo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're talking about it right now. So then, you know, same with the Odin. Like the, their throw is the same. They can go into the turbo mode, right? But the throw is like see how it kind of like throws the light throughout the whole room. Like it's like a normal flashlight. Yeah. So then we, we have the Odin Turbo. This is weird. You're in blind yourself. It's just oh wow. Yeah. It's a pinhole. I That's for distance, man. It, don't, yeah. don't don't catch your wall on fire. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, and it's interesting. Yeah, this is just a perfect circle, and it doesn't really like it throws light very, very minimally. So you, you think to yourself, what's the size of the circle? And I would say it's about the size of a 20 millimeter like um red dot. So you, when you when you turn this light on, it's about the same size as that actual spot. So it's interesting. You only see that. So I want to go play with it. Me and Cody, we're going to take it out um, either, I think, tomorrow. 
Uh, one of these nights, we're going to go play with them. We'll do some tests with them. If there's certain tests you guys want to see, though, good grief, um, let me know, and we'll we'll do those. We're going to do some close range, some long range. I think the, the long distance is going to be bonkers, but I don't know how much you really need that. But Yeah, yeah I mean, if you're, hmm. if you're on – if the movie that Signs is happening and you're out in your cornfield trying to chase aliens, I mean, I'm sure it would be helpful. Like, I bet I could see at eight, seven, eight hundred yards in a circle. Like, but why, why am I going to need to see seven, eight hundred yards with yeah. a tactical flashlight? I don't know. I just have to stand like a bush. You'll miss yeah, it. Yeah. Like, like in a, in a room, like if you go and try to light up a room, like with one of these, it's great, right? It lights up the whole room. But with that, it just lights up a little circle, like this golf ball. Like, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, I think it's going to be hard to come up with the, the practical application for that yeah and i think that's what's cool is we can show all the different ones because then you can see which one you'd want i like the mini simply because it, it's almost it's just it's it's the mm -hmm. smallest of all of them i mean they're all it's it's absolutely tiny compared to some of the others so you have the turbo um it's like almost half the size of the turbo and that's just reflecting off the ceiling dude the mini yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it like lights up this whole corner of the room yeah and this is a shot one Oh, is it? Yeah. If I had to get one, yeah. and this, I, I have the I have the turbo, and Jason has the Odin and Odin Mini. But if I, if I'm, you know, picking which one I want, I want the Mini. So yeah. Look but at this guy. Did, you, just, did you guys see this? Oh yeah, I did see that. Yeah, I do like those. Yeah. Um, so just so everybody's tracking too. There will there there may or may not be a flash sale on the seventeenth. That may or may mm. not include some Odins. Maybe. Hey, didn't didn't somebody? I'm gonna I'm gonna let the cat out of the bag. We're only talking about Olight, and we're saying there's nothing comparable to them, right? Didn't somebody buy a flashlight that are comparable to that 90 degree Olight that you have? I Jason, did. I have it. I'll go get you it. have it? Yeah, I got it. It's on my it's on my carry right now. Mm -hmm. No, the night the Olight 90 degree one is. But we yeah. have another one that compared no, to us. He got it. I got it. Let me go. You get got it. it? Yeah, I got it. Let's talk about that. So we're not only talking about Olight, man. Let's get hey, a different I company can't, in here. I can't pull it up, but Harry Baloney wants to know about the Spider-Man head. It's it's Deadpool, but oh, wait, it's Deadpool. About that. <laughs> yeah, so I'll take it off so y'all can see it. So my daughter makes these. She and the leather work. My high angel. If you ever get bored enough to look it up. There's a little Deadpool, little Deadpool head, and then she can do like keychain or whatever. But she doesn't think little QDs, so I can clip them onto my guns. It's like a little stuffed animal you, for your gun. Can you get to that? So we have Malhal Angels store on our website, but can you get to that stuff from that, or is it just the t-shirts? Uh, you know? I think. I think you can. Um, if not, what is it called? Valkyrie Leatherworks. I mean, it's it's hard to find on Etsy, but um, anybody that wants it, I'll get a link for y'all and I'll put it in the comments of one of our videos. Maybe next live chat, if somebody reminds me, I'll have it by then, and while well, she can share the link. But yeah, she yeah. makes all the little doodads. I'll, I'll I have a little uh, Punisher skull one on my my blue and and white gun. Yeah, but she made the little Deadpool for me. Yeah, my wrong house gun. Yeah, but they drink going to any QD, and I use all these Arrow S1, so I have extra QD right right there next to it. It's just something to have fun with. They don't yeah, stay she on makes the gun all the time, but different stuff. You know, I don't know what some of you guys are into. Maybe you're into purses. She can make you a purse. Uh, yep. She had like some. She made some little those little medicine men. What were they called? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I I just call them monos because that's what we you know what the Spanish word for like a little stuffed animal, a little mono. Yeah, um, little, yeah. She, I mean, she makes a like, lot of. They stuff. look like little sack boys, and what they look like sack yeah. boys made out of leather. Yeah. 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 Okay. But, well, yeah. Hey, bring, I think can you bring up Dan's? One. Yeah, I'm gonna bring, you bring up Dan's question? question. Yeah, real quick though, just go over Misfits. Um, he went to Sunday Gun Gear this past week. Focused on shooting on the move. A lot of work to do. So we can't. Yeah, I can't wait to see that. Or here we have to say. <laughs> Um, Did y'all work on transitions? Yeah. Let's yeah, let's know what you worked on. Dan says, rookie question. Uh-oh. Get... Dan got in trouble <laughs> on one of these. He did. He's going to get in trouble for this one, too. 
Because we're telling yeah. him, we're telling him what, what he should buy or what he shouldn't, and we're gonna get kicked off Facebook again. We're not, no, we're not, no, selling no. weapons. Yeah, YouTube. We're, we're not selling weapons. <laughs> <laughs> we we in no way say you should purchase anything. Actually, actually, this is a good one because the answer no, don't buy that. Right, I already had my opinion yeah. on it before it even. Yeah, uh, you want to hear it? it? And I think know. I know Joe's gonna agree with me. Yeah, I'm gonna no, agree. Go ahead, ready Cody. For this? So if you if you're looking at the Desert Eagle and a 45 ACP, do not get the Desert Eagle. Get a 1911 instead. Bingo. Way Long more parts availability, cheaper, better gun, lighter. I mean, yeah. I think you have less round count. Sure. Uh, then get you know if you have if you have Desert Eagle money, then go get a, a 2011. 2011. Yeah. Yep. That's get a 2011 and nine mil. Because you're actually going to use it. Like a 2011 is phenomenal. Oh, I'm going to use my 1911 too. It's it's yeah. in my flag right by my front door. Let somebody come and knock and that shouldn't be here. My 1911 yep. is the most accurate weapon I have. Second to my bug assault. Yeah. Well, it, has the, it has the most qualified kills. That's what I thought that was what it was. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. The, my bug assault just laying dead bodies all over my house. <laughs> Uh, okay, Misfit says, Walsh, have you enjoyed the Manus Blackbeard? I just got the X10 and Blackbeard, and I've been having a blast with it. I dry fire every night. So we actually brought over the X10 um, when we went to see everybody. So we're doing Cerakote and his baking. I was letting everybody – ah, you're already flexing. Um, yep. We, uh, we were playing with it, and everyone – it was interesting is everyone was using the Manus X10, and they were actually cleaning up their form really, really fast. I would say within, like – 10 shots everyone's like oh okay here's what i'm getting wrong here's what i'm doing wrong and then getting really high scores joe he did score 99 and continued to gloat forever and then me and sean just tried to score 99 so we didn't have to hear it for the rest of the day which we didn't do so we had to nope. continue and then that. and then i scored a 98 so it wasn't a one-time deal yeah it was great so now we get to hear about that for the rest of our lives Yep. <laughs> excited about it um the black beard we got out but it unfortunately mine was mine was out of batteries I'll be honest with you, I haven't played with the Blackbeard nearly as much as I have with the X10. Um, I know uh, Joe, the, our Patreon Joe is not in here. He always wants me to do more rifle training. Um, I've just done a ton of pistol training, and I just haven't done a ton of rifle training. I need to. I need to do that whole zero to YouTube hero thing with, with rifles. And when I do, it's going to be with the Blackbeard because why wouldn't you? I get to use the same trigger. I get to use the same setup. That I think it's phenomenal for the price. Um, so I, I'm glad that you're liking it. I think it's awesome. Yeah. And then, Unfortunately, I had family come over, so I had, I had youngins. We couldn't keep pointing guns in the garage and shooting them. Cause then they would want to, and I don't. I want to teach them differently. You know, a toy gun, toy gun, and a real gun, real gun. And mm -hmm. that's kind of like an in between. And I didn't want them to get confused. Yeah. So we had to put it away. Yeah. Uh, Misfit did say, yeah, I was shooting while walking, walking left or right, running to cover and shooting, reloading and shooting on the move. People don't realize like how tricky, like, look at me, I'm standing here. I did a quick reload. Like, okay, yeah, yeah. Do like three other things at the same time. Your brain just starts to fall off. Mm -hmm. like, Any little variable that you add to the, the your training is, is good. You know, when you put pressure on yourself by timing yourself, when you walk, any of that stuff. Is, is good because what's going to happen if you get, uh, and Joe can attest to this, but you get put in a situation where you're going to have to use that training, you're going to revert down to your lowest, you know, point of training, yeah. right? It's just yeah. going to be major Maybe. muscle groups. And if you train, you just, groups to, if you yeah. train, if you just stand there and reload, when the yeah. day comes you're do and that. you're in a panic situation, you're going to stop and you're going to stand there and you're going to reload like a moron. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And I got a story about that. If we got a second, we do. Oh, we do. I got another one. Whenever you get a second, I'll, I got another one. I promise I'd show. Okay. Go ahead. So my, I had a case at uh, at Enserlik. It was basically a, the security forces commander tried to attempt suicide by cop with his own cops, right? Mm -hmm. And this is the perfect example of uh, you, you know, using your training. Your training is ingrained in your head. So basically. They were cross-firing through this house at some point. I, I don't need to get into the details, but just know that someone shot from the back of the house through to the front of the house, and someone else's gun ma malfunctioned. Actually, it was a squib round, and what he did was he knelt down and tried to do his immediate his uh, remedial actions, right? So he's trying to you know 
hit the magazine, pull it, and all this other stuff. And he knelt down, and the bullet went right past his head into the door. But he also put himself in the perfect position to get stabbed by the commander. But he did what he, he was trained to do, right? He knelt down, and he started doing his... Yep. He didn't get out of the way. He didn't move to cover or anything like that. So that's why we talk yeah. about this. You, you got to train. You know, it's it's fine to shoot, you know, holes in a you know piece of paper. But, I, you know, I commend Misfit for trying new stuff and, and getting better. I You know, I don't do that that stuff near enough uh but you know i did it for years yeah i used to uh at the end of the range day in in afghanistan at the end i would take a water bottle and i chuck it out and you know what berm i'm talking about cody you about eight feet tall eight to ten feet tall berm i'd chuck it out at the base of it and uh i could walk closer or further but i always had to be moving and i had to get the water ball bottle to bounce over top of the berm so you'd have to hit it like I don't know, six or seven rounds. And if you keep missing, it just keeps falling further down the hill. So you get it to dance up over the hill. I mean, there's no backstop. I mean, there's nothing behind there. But just come up with games. Get a shooting tree. And say that, you know, shoot with your buddy on a shooting tree and say when you're firing, you can't fire from the same position every time. Instead of just, oh, drawing ping, 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 and try to win a shooting tree, who cares? Say you can't shoot from the same position every time. Or when you reload, you have to take cover. You have to get behind cover in order to and reload. Obviously, you know? obviously, you have to be safe. And there's not a lot of places where you can do that kind of stuff uh, or, or get the supervision to be able to do that kind of stuff. But if you can find places like that, uh, it's great. I mean, yeah. even we got an outdoor range, and they they have conniptions over the smallest little things. But if you can find places or training where you can get into that kind of stuff, I would definitely, yeah. definitely. That's do. a big one. To get that same range allows somebody to do that as a training course. So yeah. you might have to spend a little bit of money, but go see what go see what you're capable of before your life depends on it. Yeah, and, and that is. I, I mean, mean go ahead, Cody. Sorry, I was just gonna say, you know, even at our deployment training, we were in a very safe environment with instructors and stuff. We were shooting pat. We were bounding. And shooting past each other is still the scariest thing I've ever done in my life. Uh, and these are people that were trained to the same level I was, and it's still spooky. Mm-hmm. So yeah, when you just, when you turn around and you're running and you're looking at muzzle flash, you're like, uh oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm, going the wrong I'm glad way. I'm in the air force. I'm glad I'm in the air right, force. That's right. all I kept saying. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, okay, let me do. Let me talk about this flashlight so we don't just talk about um um O light and then not yes. get war stories. Yeah. yeah. So this is the LA police gear. Now, um, one thing I've shown you guys before is the uh, per run two from Olight. That thing is like a hundred bucks. This is like $20. Um, so what's really cool about this is it offers you both the, like a normal light. I think, it, oh, it does stroke. Um, it gives you three different light modes. You can go like low, medium, and high, I believe. Somewhere in there. Yeah. You can cycle through them all. Uh, you can see how they're good bit different. Um, yep. what's, what's the claim to fame for this though, is like, not only is it a regular flashlight that, so I can run this just like I would run. I mean, I don't know if you can necessarily mount it, but you could run it like a normal EDC light. You could just carry it in your pocket just like this, or, and this is my favorite part. If you wanted to hook it on your front of your plate carrier, or you're just doing whatever's, you can just connect it up this way. And same as like the OLED one, it's, I have nothing to hook it to. It's magnetic. So you can, you can magnetize and, and hook it into things. It's got the same magnetic charger, not the same style, but the same kind of connection. So this is $29 and the other one is like a hundred and something. So, and this one's a lot more versatile. Uh, the fact that you can, you know, have the, have the rotatable head, you can do whatever you want with it. If you want a flashlight that, I mean, O lights are like mopeds, right? You don't, you use them, but you don't tell anybody. Um, if you're going to, if you're going <laughs> to use that anyway, then you may as well get this because it's just as good. I think it even uses you guys are familiar with Olight, it even uses the same like style um, LED indicator and button. It's the, it's the exact same button. I looked at them. So I think they're using a lot of the same materials and one's cost $20 and one costs a hundred. Yeah. Um, and it's rechargeable. It's, so all the yeah. things that we like about a flashlight, it's, yeah. it's decently bright without being blinding. It's small enough to carry an EDC. It has a 90 degree head, which is awesome. Uh, it's rechargeable and it's cheap. Yeah. So now we just got to see how long it lasts. Yeah. And 
then we can recommend another flashlight. Yeah, I'm, I'm buying one. Yeah, I have my Surefire. We lost power last night for like six hours. I have my my not Surefire. What is it, Cody? What do we buy? Streamlight. 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 Yeah, I might streamlight. I'm using it everywhere, man. I'm all happy with that little light. But now that's the same price. The only, thing I, one of those. the only thing I don't like about this one is it doesn't have like I really love those moonlight modes. Like it sounds so funny, but I like those one like one candela modes. Cause then sometimes you yeah. just want to like you don't need like this the brightest light on the planet. Uh you just want like this like the most discreet light. See, Cody brings it back to O light. He just brings it right back. Uh-huh. I'm buying <laughs> I'm one of them perfect. from LA Police Gear. And you can get a discount if you use our discount code. Yes. And should. it lets LA Police Gear know that we're doing stuff. You know, doing what uh, they doing our reviews things, so and sending people to them for quality products. Yeah. So. so if you see this, on, they put this light on sale. They had it on sale, and I use our discount code. So you can actually use both. So if you're wondering, okay, cool. So I see. I showed a different light besides O light. Look at look how proud. Yeah, I am. <laughs> and, uh, and a good little light. I yeah, know it is right actually. Now. And so yeah, and I like to hook this onto my. I, I flip it over and hook it on my front plate placard because then you can actually oh. press the button oh. um, and just do it. Hold that on, way. Dan. So okay, so Dan, so Dan says, uh, concealed carry bags. I love Maxpedition. Do you have any other companies you prefer? Uh, we probably all have our different ones that we really, really like. Um, I like Grego's gear, and I love Kane. Um, Kane, yeah, I'll show you that they are awesome. It's what I use every single day. We have no affiliation to the Maxpedition. Yeah, he yes, asked about concealment bags, Joe, not body bags. Yeah, I know, but he's the one. That every time we'd get on the airplane, he'd be like, have you bought one of the bags yet? I'm like, no, they're too expensive. I'm not buying that. Yeah. So Jason, they do, Maxpedition does a buy one, get one free, maybe once or twice a year or whatever. Jason, our parts guy, kept an eye out on it, and we split the cost, and we both got a bag. But, yeah, this doesn't conceal very well. I haven't looked at all the pockets, but. Maxpedition's good, though. It's It can take a beating. Um, I just yeah. find that but- they're a little bit – thinner than i than i want i haven't i haven't done any other bigger full-size bags though yeah i was surprised i tried to put a pair of combat boots in the big pocket and the the big pocket didn't like go away from my back enough mm-hmm. like it didn't expand enough to really get them in there but mm-hmm. i like that this little bag down here is detachable it is really good build quality i would never pay full price for this thing let me let me so grab the one i, I've been what I recommend before. for that is just go on Amazon because there are other comp- you know, China Chinese made bags that are just like the Maxpedition bags that you can buy. As a matter of fact, I have like I have little small kids, and so our diaper bags are the little Maxpedition sling bags, but I bought them on Amazon for like twenty dollars. That way yeah. if it rips up or or if you like it so much, then you can be like, I'm gonna buy the Maxpedition one. It's worth the money because I like this particular style. So that's my recommendation. I have this Amazon one, Cody, a little baby bag. It's it's small yeah. and it has single strap, but in the right. back, it has it's yeah. just one one clip or fastener, but it has this pocket back here, and it's wide yeah. enough that my small of the back holster with the firearm will fit in here. So, and sometimes some of those lot. have Velcro, like built-in Velcro in there, like a, yeah. a field of Velcro, mm-hmm. uh, but. With with all things that like we say on this channel, if you buy that for concealment, practice with it. Yeah, I would say if if you're buying a bag, do what Cody said. Go on Amazon and buy super cheap first. Figure out your likes and your dislikes about it. Figure out if it's even. I'm telling you right now, you're gonna look weird carrying a backpack in some places. So figure all that out first, and then once you have your likes or dislikes, what you're looking for in a bag. Then pay the extra money and get something quality. Yeah. So, and I have my my max person. I actually use this as my camera bag, um, but for a long time this was like my EDC bag. But I, as they're saying, I kind of trained with it and realized um, there was no there was no realistically fast way that I could get to anything um, inside of here. So it just became my camera bag. But uh, yeah. uh, sure. And since I'm a good guy, I, I like to think that I'm a good guy. I look for people that are wearing those. It's a big red flag, but also think that bad guys may think that too. So just be aware of that. It's a, it's a big, Hey, I'm a tactical, I'm a tactical dude and I probably have a gun and some money in here. So yeah. be aware of that. I, I will say the, and Cody's right. So be careful when you're carrying tactical backpacks, 
um, I will say this is my absolute favorite. I have not yet got to do this review on this, but this, the Agalite AMAP 3, I think it was. I shared the video of this with the guys. I was like, you guys can't, like, I can't believe everything cool that this thing can do. From integrating into a, a carrier um, to just, like, how it can, like, I don't know. There's this weirdo pocket. It can do other cool things. Super tactical, but uh, I don't know. I love, this is, like, my number one bag. If I'm going to refer someone to anyone, if you want to, a plate carrier or a bag bag this is the one i i really like it's a little expensive but it's not that bad stop putting backpacks on your plate carrier agreed this you're only you're only up. holding our snacks you're only holding <laughs> our snacks no, and, and and that's why and this is why i was saying i like this one so much it just has two clips so you just unclip it from the side it's kind of what we want where you just unclip i would literally it rather plate. drag a wagon on foot patrol <laughs> than wear a backpack <laughs> That would be awesome. You just have like this little red wagon. You just pull around. Like, right. that like, like, it's got my camel back in it. Just, just squeaking away. Just squeaking away. Yeah. And you got your guns. Get, get, <laughs> get one of them robo dogs. <laughs> It'd be hey, painted stop. desert earth though, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Carry yeah. my stuff. Uh, yeah. it's funny. All right. So um, Aubrey, Aub Ray says, if you can find one of the North Face, North Face Access Pack, it's my favorite gun bag. I don't know that thanks. one. Thanks North for the comment. Good. Welcome, welcome yeah, Aubrey. Thanks. I don't think we've talked to you before. So uh -uh. welcome. Hey, and, you know, that brings up a good point. You know, like North Face or something like that. And uh, it was probably cool back in the 80s, and some of y'all may laugh, but a fanny pack. Now, the Australians, the Australians call them bum bags, which I think is way more masculine, and I've adopted that name. Uh, I don't have any, but if I were to buy one, I'm going to call it a bum bag. But mm -hmm. and see, oh, I good. Uh, oh, good. Cody cut out. Options. <laughs> it's just. You cut, it cut out, out, Cody. Yeah, it was hilarious. Right. It was perfect timing. I'm like, that's what you get for talking about fanny bags. bags. The Australians came in. They were like, nope. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No but way anyway, you're associating most of the atrocious bags. Hey, you know the Rock War one, and he's a he's a multi billionaire now. Mm -hmm. So if you, look, if you look like the Rock, you can have a fanny pack. I'll give you yep. that. Yep. Now, I'm not gonna tell him he doesn't look cool. I mm -hmm. could probably wear a fanny pack and fold it up under my gut and be good. <laughs> Nobody else. Yeah. 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 Hold on. That's why I like these single sling bags. They're I don't know. They're just a little bit more. It's See, like a fanny make, pack that make you put fun. this way instead of yeah, around. Yeah, right. And you can still do that with a fanny pack. Mm -hmm. hmm. But you make fun, but like Walsh has a dangler on its kit, right? What is that? That's yeah. a fanny pack. Oh, and look. Oh, See, now, goes Joe. now he, now he See, paid the price. <laughs> that's what you don't make fun of the bum bags, dog. <laughs> uh, Mitzvah did say he thinks he has the same sling bag as Joe. And then uh, Dan shared it. Oh, he said he got the full size uh, max duffel for a hundred. Oh, I want to go back to what he was saying about um, Joe's back. I want to say what he was saying about North Face too. One of the reasons I really like the idea of having a North Face bag is, yeah. let's say I'm a bad guy and I'm gonna scan the room. I'm like, all right, look at that dude with the Molly backpack. Look at the guy with the five eleven pants. I know where I need to keep my attention. The dude in the North Face backpack. Yeah, probably is going to blend in. So you're going to um, have a North Face backpack. I'm going to have jean shorts on, and Cody is going to have a fanny pack. Like, nobody is going to suspect us like, at all. Look at these three morons. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, oh, here uh, we go. Oh, what's up, Zachary? I haven't talked to you in a little bit. But, yeah, he said, I would love a robo dog. Yeah, we just want one to carry our crap. Like, Joe just literally yeah. wants one for water. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's funny. Cause I have a Belgian Malinois, and she – I don't take her out as much as now because she's getting older. But she had her own tactical vest with side pockets on it, and she had to carry all her own weight. Like, she had to carry her water bottle, her food, her little med kit. I even put an extra med kit in there for me just in case I fell down a cliff and she came down with me. Then I had a med kit. Like she had to carry all that. That's funny. Uh, can't beat a mountain smith for a bum bag. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look up mountain smith while we're talking. Uh, Cody, here's another comment you can grab. What's Dan? What's he saying? Yeah, yeah. So a lot of the, a lot of tactical companies are are doing that nowadays because they're aware that you know people stick out if they wear tactical looking bags. So 
the non tack looking stuff is is definitely on the move. Mm-hmm. But you know, a lot. Go ahead. Go ahead. I thought this was actually called a bum bag. Don't try and gussy it up, dirt. It's it's dirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these are and you Cody, can look stop wearing her purse. Yeah. It's an Australian or European shoulder bag. <laughs> <laughs> these are these are like these these are lumbar ones, but these are legit. Yeah, I like how uh, I got cut out right when it happened, but Cody called Walsh out for his little dangler things on a vest. That's what it is. Yeah, I know. It is. And I make fun of Walls just as much as I will you. I'll take it, man. I don't care. Mm-hmm. So one of the reasons I really like it, and people don't talk about this very much, why I like the danglers so much on carriers is, I mean, we talk about any sort of close combat engagement. You get like hand-to-hand. The likelihood of this happening is probably zero, right? But let's just say, if you can get under someone's plate, you can jam their plate right into their throat. They're not going to be able to do anything. Um, mm-hmm. So if you get in close combat with somebody – and they want to play care, get just get underneath their plate carry, you'll be fine. Because they're not gonna or you can do you can do a hockey tug on that. You know how they pull their their sweaters over? Is that's what they call it, right? Yeah. Their sweaters, they pull it. You grab their little grab handle, you got them all, you can yeah. bring them wherever you want. Get underneath them, and then you go, they're not gonna be able to do anything. Yeah. So the, the dangler really does help in actually being able to grab you. He's got a whole mess of garbage to it. Anyway, I really do like these these mountain smith bags. These are pretty cool. They're all of course sold out because this is the world we live in. Why not? Not the teal one. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get, we'll get. <laughs> I know I know a certain rifle that goes with it's oh sage. It's sage blue. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, look, black. Look at that. Look at that murdered out black though. Murdered How's it? Out. Where's the buckle? I want to see the buckle. I don't know. I don't know. That one's weird. But see, and then there's oh the fancy. Look at these fancy. You could tell when you've gotten old. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> when you're going Vel- over fanny packs, okay, like, does it have these, Velcro? <laughs> look at these fanny packs. I can hold my helmet on there. Like, what are you talking about? It's not your helmet. Hey, Joe knows I stopped time. Ta- I stopped buying shoes with laces a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, I gotta lace all these up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, here we go. The minute Let's that go. New Balance makes some sandal, Cody's in. See, misfit, yes, skinny jeans and a t-shirt <laughs> help me keep looking low key in most places. I can see five yeah. in my way. If I see a dude with skinny jeans, I bet we ain't got to worry about that guy. Like, yeah. <laughs> skinny be- jeans and a man bun. I'm like, I'll be like, just throw some steak at him. He'll run. Yeah, when I can see how many pennies you got in your pocket, I know you don't have a gun in there. <laughs> oh, here's a good question from. Uh, I like these fanny packs, so we're gonna we may have to review some fanny packs. I tell you what, maybe we can hit them up. That's all uh, you. Oh, the tour. I need Jack. I'll, I'll, I'll pull that one up next. You gotta read it out loud. I can't oh, even sorry, see that sorry, for sorry. Daniel. For I think I think Daniel's starting with start. Daniel Sheridan says close combat. Can I ask what EDC knives you carry? Um, I think we're all pretty devout on like our legit EDCs that we all carry Benchmades. No, oh, no, no. Oh, I carry Benchmade. Gerber. I'm in my jammy. Gerber. I'm in my jammy shorts, so I don't have my EDC. Yeah, right I, so Gerber, Gerber or Benchmade. I know there's all these fancy ones out there. There's Tor knives. There's Spartan. I got a, I got a LA Police gear Tanto blade, Tanto yeah. blade. I love Tanto the way they look. I hate sharpening Tantos. I'm not going to sharpen it. It was cheap, so when it stops oh. cutting, I'm going to throw it away. Oh, that reminds me. Yeah, no, these are expensive. I like these because Gerber and I have a Benchmade too. Both of them with the spring operated knives have been absolutely wonderful on replacing these spring for free. So, uh, what happened last time? Oh, let me tell you the story with Gerber. So this spring broke, right? Uh, I have three spring loaded knives. So when one breaks, it just gets thrown into a drawer and I pull out the other one. And then that one eventually breaks. And then once I'm down to my last knife, I deal with the problem. So I'm down to my last knife and I reached out to Gerber and they're like, uh, Because of COVID, we're not going to have you ship your knife to us. We're just going to send you the parts. And I'm like, all right, cool. That that works for me. You know, it's, I don't know, $5 worth of springs, whatever it is. So I'm waiting around and and the package come in and my wife's like, did you order something? I'm like, no, I didn't order anything, especially not in that box. Unwrap it. Gerber sent me a whole knife, $180 knife because the spring broke. So I went online and bought ten dollars worth of spring. Now I have an extra one, and now I have a four spring operated knives that I can cycle through until I have to start fixing the problems. So Gerber was awesome on that. They didn't charge me shipping. They didn't charge me anything. They just asked for my address and they shipped me something. So thanks, Gerber. So this is a good segue too. Um, I got a whole bunch of knives. 
to give away on all of our live chats and different stuff. So let's do one of them now. Now that we're actually I talking about in, Dan brought up the Dan brought up the he Dan, said the magic words. Uh, unless you okay. got something, and then unless you got a challenge, let's nope, do a challenge. Let him, let him pick one, and then we'll do a do a like a trivia. Yeah. One. Well, I don't know. I don't have all these unopened. Hold on. Let me open these up. So this is a Kershaw. Like now, if you know these anything about knives, if you know anything about knives, there's like Kershaw, made in America Kershaw, and then there's China Kershaw, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm not I'm not bougie with my knives. So like I bought a three pack of these on Amazon, and I would just wear them in my pocket. And when they're get, when they're dull, I throw them away. Like, I would say, I, yeah. on your note, Cody, if you're gonna do like that type of thing, get the get the folding like razor blade knives. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where you just open it up and then you replace the razor blade right. and you put the razor blade, but it's a locking it's a locking knife and everything. Those things are super thick. Have yeah, ever, they are. Yeah. So I I wear these in the back of my in my back pant pocket where you would put a wallet, and I like this one because it's deep pocket carry. See that? Yep. Need a clip. Yep. And it's this is a screwdriver or like a window break, and it's got a bottle opener. What else do you nice. need? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like that. Go ahead. Brady. Sorry. Yeah, Dan. Walsh. Pick one out. We'll do. We'll, we'll give you. We'll start you out. So just pick one out. This will be one, two. Three or number four, so one. and the boogers are free. You can keep yeah, the boogers. So let, just pick a number, pick. and then and I'll get your info, and then you let me know which one you want. Well, then we'll give away more of these. I I I got a giveaway we can do next week. But since you brought it up, and we have the knives, um, and you reminded me of it, we'll give you the first one. So remember one. But two, you have to send two, a cool pic four. that we can yeah. share on social media. I want a cool picture. So yeah, let me know which one of these yeah. which one of these four you want. They're just uh, these are some more use and abuse knives. Kind of when we think about EDC. Um, we think of knives we could just break them like whoops. Uh, yep. grab another one. So, uh, yeah, let me know which one you want. I'll try to keep it in order. And hopefully, he didn't. Hopefully, he didn't leave. We got a we got an <laughs> Andrew <laughs> Shaft <laughs> in the. Yeah. I'm probably saying your name wrong, but in Louisiana we have Shaft. We call it, like when something's cute, we say Shaft. I'm not making fun of your name. I promise. Oh, oh I'm that's one. Yeah, that's why I'm saying he's actually that. making fun of himself. We're all illiterate. So. I, I got a funnier one for you. So Harry's talking to me, and I'm showing some of our mail drop from Monday. So I, if you guys didn't see, I try to kind of share everything that we get, you know, each week and share it on Mondays with like a little reel. And he's like, "Hey, what's that cool thing you got?" And I go, "Oh, it's the knife hook." And he's like, "Um, oh, you take number two, okay? Uh, sorry, he's talking. Turn. I'll take number two. All right, cool. I got you. It's this one." this one okay cool i'm gonna send it your way um i'm gonna put my our email in the thing so just send me all your contact info um to our email so just text I'll, it to me dan i'll get it to him oh yes yeah, text, text it to joe. salter's okay, in here yeah i just saw salter so uh Holy shit. so okay nice so listen to this so, Some... so he's talking he's like he's like what is that walsh and i go oh it's the knife hook and he's like i looked at everywhere who makes them like oh pharaoh makes it and he's like walsh you dingaling! It's knife nook. It's not knife hook. It's like I looked around everywhere. I was like, it is the knife hook. It is not called the knife hook at all. I was like, oh my goodness! I told like, you, I we're illiterate, and I'm the worst out of all of them. I so. was like, that is 100 my mistake. I'm telling you the completely wrong thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, Joe. Joe knows it's not my real name. Perfect. Uh, so yeah, it's Kyle Salter. What up, Walsh? Team three for life. So yeah, um, we, we were with Salter. We work with him. He was up on uh, alert with me and Cody. So we work with him. We go a long way back. It's awesome to see him. Um, hey, Kyle, they're, they're still showing the egress videos with you in it. <laughs> still to this day. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, that's funny. Hey, uh, is that, uh, yeah, that is Cody. See that sweet, see yeah. that sweet beard he's got going on. So we probably should go watch that egress video just so we can get uh, pre-qualified. Yeah, the one with the slides. Yeah. <laughs> uh, people always say, is it sh Shaw. Shaw or Shaw? Yeah, either way. Shay, think, he's saying. Oh, right. Shay, okay. Yeah, I think he's on, I think we know him from Instagram. I think I've talked to him before. Okay. That's welcome. funny. Oh, 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 he says like Shay. Uh, Shay. Okay. So well, we're, welcome. We're we got illiterate. A of we got a we're bunch just... of people joining in this week. Not only are we illiterate, but we're old and I know my memory, gone. 
Like yeah. I can remember a song that I haven't heard in 20 years, but yeah, I can't remember somebody named that told me it three times in a row just now. Like, <laughs> what? Um, so I did want to say real quick, quick plug since we're giving out this free knife, uh, big thanks to the guys over at uh, Smith and Wesson. Um, we have some cool reps over there. Uh, guys work with us from Caldwell um, and Smith and Wesson and, who else? Well, all the all the cool stuff you see, Wheeler Tools, it's all the same reps that give us this cool stuff. So if you want to save some money on some Smith & Wesson, some Caldwell, Wheeler Tools, all that, you can use discount code THIN10 and save yourself 10%. I'll put it in the comments, too. Um, yeah, last time I went over to Walsh's house, I left with a box full of Caldwell stuff. So Yeah. yeah. Our, our rep was like, I like, got all kinds of cool stuff for you. I was like, I perfect we'll yeah. find a way to use it like cody here you go here's here's all yeah. kinds of neat stuff so i still have my hydro sled underneath my bench right here that yeah, i still need to use. that one off yeah we got chronos we got targets we got target stands all kinds of neat stuff so yeah cool what else? i don't know what you're doing with your mic walls but you you're driving nuts sound like you're playing the drums Oh, probably because it's touching the table. I'm banging these knives around over here and all this. Uh, stuff. So I'll quit organizing. So I'll quit making all the racket. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Che, yeah, and yeah. I figured, I figured that was us. Cool. Oh, look at that. Wow. What okay, so is interesting is we have our YouTube channel, but Kyle, he's probably more famous than us. Like the number of people that have watched that egress video have probably seen that more of him than <laughs> well, yeah it's air, it's aircraft uh specific but you got to think you know a couple hundred people each year probably have seen that they're probably super angry when they see him too like god i have to sit through 45 minutes of salsa running up and down the, yeah I don't, i'm only he, he like runs downstairs and he's like calling something on the radio in his bdus <laughs> yeah, yeah so old school <laughs> <laughs> like, is this VHS? Uh, is this what VHS uh, like? It's awesome. Probably to was. I haven't talked to him in years, so that's Dude, awesome. Yeah. That's better than the video we had to watch in vehicle maintenance. We had to watch video from the 60s and 70s called being sh called Shaking Hands with Danger. And like every time before he did something stupid, he'd be like, Are you ready to shake hands with danger? And then he would just take off the top of a McPherson strut and the spring would go through a window, you know? And they had a little theme song and everything. <laughs> We, it was we like, used to have a fire extinguisher video, the aircraft fire extinguisher, but the guy was so short, like the fire extinguisher was just a little bit taller than him. Then you actually see your first fire extinguisher and you realize like that fire extinguisher is only like Tiny. three feet tall. <laughs> 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 like <laughs> that was the smallest man ever. That's hilarious. Uh yeah. So yeah, it's also good to see from you hear from you too. I don't know yeah, when man. you're gonna be around uh, me and Cody again, but we're still we're back at home base. So if you're um back here again at all, let us know. We're, yep, we're I'm not going right. anywhere. Yeah, we're not going anywhere at all. Well, you want to um, round us out, Cody? We're getting to be almost at an hour. If you want to round us out for what we're working yeah, it's on, early. We're towards, and then uh, we'll close it out. You want to get? You got two minutes. Talk about your access belt. Oh God, people are gonna want to hear about that. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, so we did. I know you guys didn't get to hear about it completely, but we did the actual eclipse belt. I actually did find some left-handed of the. Um, of the uh, what are these e s tech kiwis the 45 degree ones so now they're not angled the wrong way so they're actually left-handed um i do want to say <laughs> misfit he's so mad he's so look at this dude we didn't even talk about the belt like he that's all he's here for like i'm just here yeah. we didn't talk about last week and then you went a whole nother week don't worry me. you can't buy it anyway uh this is okay so legitimately um okay two things Number one, they changed in SOCOM, uh, the, actually, the, the belts that are authorized to wear in on helicopters. I don't think any of you are in SOCOM, nor are you riding in helicopters. So any of those belts that we've seen that have helicopter attachment points probably are a moot point anyway. What so, was that belt? What was that belt again? This one? The Axel one? No, the other one. Oh, no, the, the POS. BFG, the BFG CHLK. Yeah, just erase that from your memory. Yeah, don't even because it you can't it does you don't it's only need useful it. if you're gonna get in helicopters and now they don't allow that one in helicopters, yeah. so it doesn't it shouldn't really exist anymore. Um so this is the actual eclipse. I will say this is far and above the best belt that's out on the market. Uh I, I like the Ronin, I think the Ronin's cool, I like the way it looks. This is a better belt than that, and it weighs like this is with gear on it, it weighs like nothing. Um, I, I couldn't be happier. No, it doesn't, you know, 
I showed in that video, some of you guys were confused or concerned that it would grind into you, but it doesn't at all. Uh, it sits off the body really well. I have very few complaints. I think I ended up using, in the video, I, I couldn't find a good solution to like how to hook up gloves and stuff. And I ended up stealing, oh, I'm going to mention them again. I ended up stealing like a, like a Olight. I don't know what this Only is. you will. That's such, that's such a range queen situation. I, hey, I use like, my gloves. Where, hey, where am I going to put my, yeah, normally you have your gloves on your hands, homie. But yeah, you don't have to worry about where to put them. Come on, watch this, Joe. <laughs> watch this, Joe. Okay. Walsh, when we were in the 511 store, what did I show you? The Carabiner. No. About the gloves, where I told you, what did I tell you that all of us did with our gloves? Well, we just hook them on our belt. No, I remember. You, you don't stick remember. Them, they're Velcro. You just stick oh, them on your vest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just stick them to your vest. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, I showed when you were that. eating, you I, took them off and you shoved them underneath your plate carrier yeah, so right here. And you did. ate, like, and then you put your gloves back on. He's like, he's, oh, he's like, this is all I do. Well, she just sticks it to the front <laughs> pocket. He's like, just, they hold just fine, like right here. Like, I'll just, I know where they're at. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally not required. I mean, if this is the, if this is the complaint that I have that there's nowhere to hook my gloves, yes, that's quite a little girly complaint, and that shows you the quality of this belt. Um, those who really like the Wilder tactical pouches, I gave Joe one. I don't know if he's tried it yet. It was one of the angular ones. That's probably one of my favorite angular pouches, and that doesn't work on it. You don't like it? I haven't tried it. Oh, I've tried it. Um, there's a bunch of comments. I got to get. I got to get to that. I got to get the comments. But uh, this belt, along with the um, True North modular adapter, like this is like like pure magic. So if you're going to run this belt, please do that. Um, I really do think that the normal UBL would probably grind into your leg pretty bad because the way it would like fold actual material, it wouldn't like keep it from jabbing into you. So please do that. Brim Hunter, as always, I love these guys. They give us the coolest gear. So if you're not buying your pouches from them with our discount code, please do. They're worth your money. They're great people, legitimately good people, really good. Uh, hey, yeah. And while we're talking about them, anytime Walsh is like, hey, I need you to put like a My Little Pony something, whatever, he, every, every time he's reached out and said, hey, can you just make this modification, they, mm -hmm. they do it instantly and they ship it right out. Like, as yeah. a matter of fact, he got me one of their headband things for my my ear pro and and Braden and Walsh was like, hey, put a little a little hooky thing from for a belt. And they did it and they sent it right out. So yeah. <clears throat> I think they even named something after TLD, right? Didn't you say they had they put something on their thing because you kept asking for it? Yeah, they they have a new mod based on what you said. They actually have a, a, yeah. a headset mod for the loop. It's actually like the TLD um, TLD mod on the headset, so it has a little yeah. hooker loop, so you can so you can hook it to your belt. Just, I'm gonna Super tell nice them, I'm gonna tell them to make it the Dude, Joe that, mod. Like have them call it the Joe mod for me. Like <laughs> <laughs> that uh the I can't think right now the first aid kit that you had them make up and with the tourniquet on top and. The the six by six of Velcro that jump pulls out. Like I show everybody that. That's genius. Like yeah. I can have it back here and if somebody needs a med kit, I can jump rip it off and hand yeah. it to them and then keep doing whatever I need to do. Or and even if yeah. you're in a vehicle, you're like, this is obnoxious, and you just pull it off, throw it in your pocket because it's not so yeah. large it doesn't fit in yeah. a car a cargo pocket. Yeah. And then if or, you get another vehicle, they'll put this back on. This is when you're missing an arm and you only have one other arm to reach back there, you don't want to be trying to find your gauze behind you yeah it's yeah, awesome right. man i love that, I, I love that low pouch I love so lots it. of questions though uh, misfit says the price and features are crazy good i don't need it yep. but I want if it. you could buy it if you could buy it i would buy one right now See, joe's so mad because he's like i want to buy it like for the for i'm one so mad dude i really I finally found a belt that i'm excited about <laughs> it's like the the la police gear plate carrier i got so excited about it i bought it i, I said nope yeah. i have to have one i'm buying it like, i got so excited about that one <laughs> He was like, I want it now. Like, I want to buy that. I want it now. Yep, that's the belt. You've shown so many belts, but that's the one I absolutely want. I was like, yeah, you, you can't buy it. Like, it's it's yeah. out of stock. Like, like yeah. I had to suffer through 20 belt video just to find a halfway <laughs> decent one. And now I can't even buy the one that I want. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Just so, so everybody know, we have to watch all the videos so we can give each other critiques. Yeah. So I am, I am way more versed in belts than i ever wanted to except be except for jason jason didn't even watch our last two videos when we the first time we're hanging out i think we were eating breakfast and we we're like hey did you watch the video and he's like 
No, I haven't watched the last two videos. Yeah, I think well, that was me, dude. That was me. That was okay. me. That was Are you sure? Yeah. yeah. No, Jason yeah. said it too. It was, it was your flashlight video and the uh, the last one that Welsh did. But I did go back and I watched them and I even commented on them. So then you knew that I'd watched yeah. them. Well, we got because we got you told my Google, you told oh. Google to do something, and all my Google went off from my house. That's uh, my so favorite part. We got a, we got a anyway. bunch of good comments. I want to get through real quick. Uh, so <laughs> Harry <laughs> calls me the range, range queen, laughing at me. I'll give him that because I called it. I call it the knife, the knife hook, and not nook. And I sent him on a wild goose chase for at least a few hours. And I was like, oh, oops. <laughs> um, ta- talking gloves. What brand is your go to? These iron. These these ironclads. Don't don't let Walsh fool you. Watch this. You no, know, the best thing good. about these. Yeah, those are cool. Um, Agalite actually makes impact, just like those. They're yeah. impact, and you get three of your finger without anything on them. Um, another These things one are awesome. Yeah, I really like I really like the Victos War Torns, um, Pig Alphas, but they're expensive. And then Cody actually has a really good brand that he uses. Um, super big over in Europe, not that big over here, but they're a fantastic brand. Is that Helicon Tex um, from their bags or their or their gear? We've been nothing but impressed, and but they're. They haven't really picked up in America, which is awesome because you can get them super cheap, but they're you, ridiculous quality. You can uh, get them I, on Amazon. And actually, I have like, I don't know what they're called. They're like urban tactical shorts. Those things are gangster. They're pretty <laughs> much laid out. They're cr- pretty much laid out like the BFE from LA Police Gear with those pockets. Uh, I love those shorts. And they don't look that tactical, to be honest with you. Yeah. So he'll contact. Yeah. Yeah, Victor, I, I would like probably these. steer away. Steer away from like the mechanics. Like the mechanics, those we just found they just just pour water right into them. Like I kept getting my hands just soaked in them. Uh, mm. Misfit. Oh, and ask, look, they have. They even have a little slit. Look, that you could put a little doodad like back when you were ten year old and connect your gloves together. You could put it on your belt, How so cute. you don't lose them. Or you can tie them to your jacket, so when you take your gloves off, they stay with your jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like the little mitts that you put through the arm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're gonna jump. We're gonna jump questions. So, Joe, what's that glove brand? Misfit was just asking. Uh, Ironclad. Ironclad. Yep. And it has got I R O N C L A D. And so, just so you know, too, Agalite on their website they make a special mechanics impact with the fingers cut out. Also, um, yeah, that's what these are. They are a lot like mechanic glove. They have the rubber on the finger. They have. Two cushion pads in here, and I think they're like twenty or thirty bucks, man. Yeah. Um, right. but you know they frayed a little bit, but I burned the ends, and I've been using these for over a year, uh, and they've been holding up. I really like them, but I don't. I hate having stuff on my trigger finger. I cannot do it. I can't do it. Yeah. I'm with Joe. I even the nice ones, even like the pig alphas, I'll get annoyed and I'll take them off. So I I want to have the same ones where the trigger finger is exposed, particularly with shooting precision. Um, yep. Misfit did ask how long did it take to get in talking about the axler clips belt took us like what seven weeks and I t- I actually reached out oh hold on hold on That's I don't think any of us knew about it <clears throat> I meant to blend with the no. brand with the gloves and the shorts Helicon Tex Helicon. Uh, it's got a little Helicon it's got a little uh, what do you call those dang things yeah that one something along that I think it's pretty close to that fanny uh, packs no, no about the the, the, the glove. It, was, it was in that glove review. I had one set I borrowed from Cody that was in that actual glove review that did really well. It's got their their uh, their logo is a, a lizard. What's mm. the lizard? Yeah, with the eye that moves around. Oh, yeah. chameleon. Yeah, chameleon. Okay. New, yeah, yeah. Chameleon. Brain fart. But legitimately, it took me about seven weeks to get mine in, and I did reach out to Axel, and they did know I was doing a review. So um, I'm pretty sure I did get some special treatment because they were uh, – They most people weren't saying they were getting them. So I would probably say uh, – Yeah, go on to their website right now and let me know if you could buy one. It don't matter so how the, long it takes. You can't the, next thing that, the next thing that Walsh is going to be reviewing is his knee pads. Mm. This guy. Yep. <laughs> I was like, good thing what? he, good thing he likes the expensive stuff. I was like, why am I reviewing? The- <laughs> sure. uh, Mitch says, Walsh, where can I get those gel inserts for Ear Pro? Um, I rem- I forget the name of them. Um, the ones, the ones that come on on the Swordens come with it. 
Um, but there's yeah, some... just go, dude. Just go on to Amazon. Look, no, I there's mean, a spe- sell... there's, no, there's a special brand. I can't remember what the name of them is. Hit me up and I'll get it to you. But there's one that actually has the top of it that's cut out, and it's what I use on all my other ones. And I'm just having a brain fart now. And you can actually put your safety glasses, and you can rest your safety glasses on top without um, breaking the seal. They're super comfy. I don't remember what they're called. Um, I'll. Hit me up and I'll get you a link. I'll get you a link to it. Just send me an email. The thin Just line throw an Instagram picture out there. Yeah. You? Oh, speaking of, when the actual comes available again, keep tabs on our Instagram or our YouTube or our Reels or whatever. I'll try and do announcements if I see that there's stuff available or if even they give me secret announcements that things are going to be available. Obviously, I'm going to have to tell Joe because he's going to annoy me every day about it. Yeah, they're so, more reclusive than a PS5, man. It took me six months to get a PS5. I still want to PS5. You got one. Yeah. Oh, this is the best though. I want to see. I want that belt on an e-board video. Yep. 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 That's you got it. Okay. So you got it. Aubrey asked. He's asked me twice. And I missed the comment up at the top. When are you reviewing SNS Precision Plate Frame Modular? I have no idea what that is. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> like I am going. I'm going to mute for a second and find this. Let me look. When are you reviewing what? SNF precision plate frame. I don't know. It's got to be something for your vest. It's got to be like some some crazy doodad that I don't know. Like Walsh. Whenever I see Walsh with a plate carrier, I think of Inspector Gadget. Like I'm just <laughs> waiting for a helicopter to pop out of the back and him just to be flying around. I just think of Go Go Gadget. Whatever he wants comes uh, out of that vest. Let somehow. me get my doodads. Um, yeah. So. When am I reviewing the twelve hundred dollar plate carrier? Uh, never, probably never. That seems that <laughs> seems a, never. a bit ridiculous. Dude, for twelve hundred dollars, I would go safe flight. I would do that. Uh, that I mean, if more than twelve hundred, but that, what is that made soft out of? rifle. What's, armor? what's the? Oh, it's made out of that same stuff. The there, Tegris, Brie, oh, yeah. well, I keep calling it. They already know what your full name is. It's That's fine. They, they can come over my house. It's fine. We're either going to cuddle or we're going to fight. Either way, it's going to be a good day. <laughs> it's misfit. Come, come look at all my cool stuff or you're going to be a googly yard target in the yard. <laughs> <laughs> it's a win-win for everyone. Uh, not not our subscribers, guys. We're not talking about you guys. No, we're yeah, talking, about, was, we're talking about the people that watch it just to be negative. This I'll is get it. No. Whoa, look at that. Why you don't no. have a back plate? <laughs> you just it doesn't just, have any plates, Cody. It's just a carrier. Just like, you don't even put plates in it. It's just to mount stuff on. Well, that isn't the perfect thing for you, actually. <laughs> now you can mount all your stuff. You oh can mount all God. your go go gadget stuff, and you don't have to worry about the extra weight of a plate. But Joe, I could never put a backpack on that one. It would never work. Oh, true. <laughs> wow. Uh, we so can find is- a way. This is crazy. I would. I. I don't know if I could ever recommend one of these. So, if you're going to spend twelve hundred dollars on a plate carrier, I hope that comes with plates. I don't think it does. Um, but if you're going to, I spend don't even it, think it takes plates, dude. Uh, I think it, it does. Plate. Like, yeah, they're hit. They're in here. They're just, they're like hugged in here. If you're going to spend that kind of money on a plate carrier, you're going to want to use Tier Tactical. Tier Tactical actually has a plate carrier. I think it costs about eight hundred dollars. Um, I know a unit who is looking at who, yeah, who got some of those. Much. Checking them out. I'm not paying eight hundred dollars no. for something designed to be shot. No, and and particularly, and I wouldn't either. But don't they were really expensive because they actually have there. It's Kevlar lined. Um, I don't know if that really makes that much of a difference because you're already. If if I'm gonna spend, if I'm gonna spend anything over a thousand dollars, I'm going with Safe Life, or whatever their name is, and I'm going with that soft rifle armor. Have you seen that? Yeah, but I'm like super iffy about that. Dude, what do you mean super iffy? It stops all kind of three hundred eight rounds. Like it stops everything. Auto fit cummerbund. If I if That's I why. just if I just sound like skeptical, will they send us one? Like pff, I don't think it'll do that. Oh yeah, they'll they'll definitely send that tiny little channel a two thousand dollar vest to shoot. I'm sure. Yeah, but, Maybe if I get more skeptical. Sure. More, let's more. read. Let's read about the auto fit cummerbund. You want to read about the auto fit cummerbund? Okay, what? No, auto not fit really. Cumberbund maintains consistent tension throughout the most demanding and dynamic movements. <laughs> it's a cummerbund yeah. with some elastic on it. Bro. It disconnects. <laughs> Get out of here! It has elastic in it. No, it has the Tegris. It's not going to go anywhere because it doesn't have it doesn't have elastic. It's just connected to be a Tegris. 
Yeah, but is it made for boys with tactical girth? That's what I want to know. No, mm, I don't know. Oh, what's the operator sweet system suite? This looks like something something Joe needs. Y'all are out of your mind. It's not loading. Y'all are out of your mind. Oh. They're sending this one right now. For that same amount of money, I'll just build like a box right out of quarter inch thick steel that I can just like shrug up and walk in with a little port. Like I will be way more protected for the same amount of money. Yeah, oh my god. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, lots of quite lot. Okay, so here we go. Uh wow, was on the pri- oh look at the misfit. Look at misfit. You know I'm coming for the cuddles. See? <laughs> I'm always I'm always happy about that. Uh best plate care I've ever worn AR five hundred Testudo carrier, $106. Uh, I had one of those. Uh, it never really broke down. I don't recommend their armor. I don't really recommend their carriers um, for the price. You can get something way better if you just It was want... probably super comfortable, which we'll all agree with, especially with how thin the plates are. Just look at look at video with the sprawling. And even if they put the rhino lining over it, the rhino lining separates after one or two impacts. And then the sprawling, like, you see people shooting that steel with balloons all around it, and one round will destroy all the balloons. I just, I, I have a problem with AR-500 steel. I'll shoot steel all day long. I don't want to be wearing steel when somebody shoots me. And I'll be super mad if any of my teammates have on steel because then when they when they catch a round, yep. it's coming to me. Yep. So like, no teammates. If you if steel. you if you wearing steel, you're definitely point. <laughs> like, I won't be in time, front of you every time. You're like, maybe yep. you're like, you gotta clear everything up here. Yeah. Uh, Your point or rear? Exactly. So dear, dear bear companies, come back down to earth. The rest of us. Yeah. Maybe try <laughs> talking about this carrier being a little bit, a little bit expensive. I like having it up. It just makes everybody mad. Yeah. Um. Uh, so Dan says, do you guys have any workout plate carriers that you wear for the Murphs challenge? I'll be honest with you. I've seen that a bunch, and I don't know. I suggest wearing your plate carrier. Yeah, I wear um, the most, the one I wear um, for all my workout. I, I work out in mine. I lift in mine. I do push ups in mine, do pull ups in mine. Um, and I, I had previously used the S TAC Deodon with some um, uh, HESCO 4401s because they're seven and a half, eight pounds. So they're the heaviest plates I had to work out in. And now I use, I work out in the um, the Agalite K19 because it is the most comfortable plate carrier by far. I could probably wear three times the load of that uh, Deodon, and it, it, it wears. What well, Cody said, I, I personally really like the LA Police Gear one. It's really good quality, and it's cheap. But whatever you decide, wear that. Because if you can't wear it through your entire workout, then you need to change something on your plate carrier, and you should be changing it for the one that you're actually wearing. Uh, yeah, you're Cody, gonna, and I, you're gonna... Cody and I went the same route on this. Instead of messing up perfectly good plate carrier to work out in, uh, we just gained 40 extra pounds. <laughs> and that that seemed to be working just fine, right, Cody? Every time I go up the stair, I feel winded, man. Yeah. So hey, I think we're doing something you, right. I want if to you would work, I know, I know you don't probably necessarily want to sweat in it, whatever, but I would sweat in it, bleed in it. Mm-hmm. You're going to find out where the hot spots are if you're wearing it. If you're running, you're going to find out where you need to tighten or loosen it uh yep. yeah where where your gear that's the only way you're going to learn uh if it's compatible with you or not and, yeah, and, and if 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 you don't want to do that then go with the go with a good quality cheaper one and buy two buy two of the same exact ones so then you know and, and here's a cheaper one this is from la police gear this is their low vis carrier and Cody and Joe are actually really good about showing me with this why you want to have some of these elastic cummerbunds because then you can actually really tighten them up. So you put a lot more of the weight around your body, um, like the tubes ones and things like that. They don't really tighten up appropriately around you. But this is like $70. I mean, worst case, you wear it and you trash it. It's a good one for underclothes too because it comes with the cummerbund and everything. And you could just stick you know, magazines inside the cummerbund. So you could use this under a jacket easily, or you could go work out in it, and you don't look like the most tactical guy ever. Probably why I don't have it. Oh, I'm not using it right now because Joe likes it a lot better when I look really cool. But this is a good mm-hmm. one. Uh, but it's cheap too. So, okay, so, so many more comments. Uh, uh, I'm fight through. Let's go. Zachary Fett says, "Don't wear steel." Yep. Um, yep. Thanks, Zach. Particularly with so many other good. Um, ceramics it's probably a hundred dollars for steel and a hundred dollars for ceramic why would you buy that 
even if you're buying battle steel i recommend battle steel over steel please so joe has or, a couple of extra la police gear plates he's going to shoot and that's going to show you right there why they're worth the money mm-hmm. in my opinion i that i think that's going to hush up the the I'm not to say yeah, that we're and we can't argument. even say we can't even say worth the money because they're as cheap as steel now. Yeah. What yeah. I pay? What I pay per plate? Just same. over hundred. Yeah, it's the same. It's it's about a hundred dollars for a quality level four, and we're seeing a lot of stuff where twenty inch barrels are just ripping through the steel or the level three or level three plus. You want to you want to beat the anything but a four? Just put a twenty inch barrel on there. Uh, I I did I did post in a chat today. Their LA Police Gear has one. That they shot a 50 BMG with, it stopped a bullet. It would have wrecked your chest. It yeah, you would be dead. It you'd be dead, up. but the bullet yeah. would not have penetrated your skin. No, I mean, half would. of the entire plate carrier would have, yeah. but the yeah. bullet would not have. And your internal it probably would have. Yeah. Just Google it. You probably would have sucked your head, like just popped your head like a grape. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. your your heart would have been three feet behind you, but uh, but so 12 Bravo attack. He was just when you mentioned the Tetsudo um, from AR500. He was mentioning just the carrier. Uh, I I owned that one. Uh, I ended up selling it. It just wasn't my favorite. I think the problem I think is nothing. What I've it. seen, what I've seen it when they're designed for steel, the the pockets for the the actual material are only like this wide, that whereas one is ceramic is like this wide. Yeah, that one isn't. That one it does fit some better plates. I did end up using it for some normal size plates and then just okay. stripping it out. It just it just didn't have it. it just didn't have a whole ton of stuff. It didn't have half the stuff that the LA Police Gear Atlas has that we love, uh, for half yeah. the price. So, um, but I mean, but th- this is a prime example. We're not saying you're wrong, uh, Twelve Bravo. We're not saying you're wrong. We're just saying our experiences, and we're incorporating that with your experience. So you're saying definitely a yay for that. So anybody looking for plate carriers, definitely check them out too because you might really like them just like Twelve Bravo does. Yeah. Hey. I still have my my uh, plate carrier, my uh, paraclete that I deployed with. That's the best thing ever because it held the plate and soft armor. Like, yep. I mean, you can't get any better than that. But yeah, it's it has just not level practical. three, level three soft armor all the way around it, and then it has yeah. the level four plates in it. Yeah, mm-hmm. awesome. And it then it has the uh, what do you call it? The cable system. Great, every everything you want in a plate carrier, but it's just. I don't know. It's not practical to. Dude, to play I, I don't GI think I'll ever, I'll ever pull that cable system. I think I'll drown. No. Yeah. <laughs> like if I went roll over, roll over, roll over, and I went into the water, I'm like, no. If I get out of this, I'm gonna have to put that plate carrier back together. I'm not pulling that cable. I could probably, like... I could probably take it off just normal, the normal way, faster than pulling the cable in that thing. Yeah, just yeah. in case, just in case yeah. I survive this, I don't want to have. And to we've talked about that together. before, so you know. Looking at any of those systems in a plate carrier, like the the quick disconnect systems or the cable systems, like the thing with those plate carriers is the Velcro still kept it together. So, yeah, you pulled the cable out of it, but you still got to rip the Velcro off. So you might as well just undo it, you know, the old fashioned way and just get out of it. Yeah, that's yeah. one thing I like about the Atlas, too, because it has those it has the cuties on the shoulders or the yeah. side. I mean, it's just. Yeah, popular. and I was looking at that. So it's similar to the those tubes, right? Mm-hmm. But I, I liked I think they improved on that a little bit from the tubes that I'd seen in the past where I was like, man, those are gonna get you know, you know, uh, sand or something in them and they're they're gonna be hard to take off. But I thought that those were a lot better. They're a lot bigger, uh, and probably got a little bit more room to get some, you know, junk in them and not get all gummed up. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dan Sheridan, he did want to comment on we'll, we'll round this out. He did he did want to comment on you guys being retirement, adding on your tactical girth. No, no, yeah, don't yeah. don't egg them on. They put their carriers on, get some work done. Nah. Mm-mm. Oh, nope. I don't know. I don't That's know. Matthew I got cars. James. You, you exactly. know Matthew James. Yeah. Like he says that cable was like ten feet long and took <laughs> yeah. like fifteen minutes to <laughs> not work. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I've never seen you guys do it. Uh, that would be awesome. You, you never will. No. You never will. Because you ain't getting it put back together either. Nope. Uh, Andrew Shea says, ever going to check out the AC1 from T-Rex Arms? I, I have to say, um, the T-Rex stuff is really popular. So probably there's some companies that um, their gear is really popular, even though it's not my favorite, uh, like Spiritus or Pharaoh. Um, T-Rex is another one of them. 
Um, they're not my favorite gear, but I'll try them because they're super popular. But if you really want to get my angle on what is the better gear after using a bunch of them, I'll give you that opinion. I don't think the AC1 is the absolutely the best plate carrier. It, it's good for what it does, but it's not my actual, it's not my favorite. But if that's something you guys really want to see, we'll get it. Um, we'll get it and we'll check it out and we'll do a review for you. Not a problem with that. I have a ton of plate carriers to show you. So hopefully um, June, July can be like our Y'all need to plate. stop encouraging them to do more of these. But here. I'm going to give you guys, stop, man. If, you guys, if you guys stayed on this live chat long enough, I'm going to give you the secret sauce right now. If if you see Joe and I buy something, get that. Because normally it's it's good to go. Walsh is going to buy yeah. all kinds of stuff. Just get what me and Joe gets, and you'll be set. So he's like, ah, my bad. He's like, I just want to see that one character. Now, if you have any belts, if you have any belts you want to see, Joe Stop. would love to see those videos. You can make sure he's like. Joe, at one point, Joe was like, "Is are we even? Do we even have a gun channel anymore? It's just a belt channel." Like, <laughs> so yeah, man, we have a bunch of rifles we have to show off. Someday. That's why YouTube can't get mad at us anymore. We don't. Yeah, we're we just can. a clothing company. <laughs> <laughs> we're just a fashion channel we just show you all the different matching patterns like that's all we show you now hey pull up uh bravo text so i've i've oh, named man. that the tactical muffin top it's a uh, tactical girth i yeah. even have a t-shirt you can buy it on our website if you'd like yeah so now you, you have to get yourself a t yeah you can't be angry about having tactical girth like you have to have this it helps me be more you know better at the range it helps it helps me conceal carrying my uh my appendix carry. Oh, it's funny. I just tucked that thing in. You can't even tell. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, we're getting late. This, yep. this old man's got to go to bed. I'm kind of, I'm kind of sad y'all saved all the the questions for the end, but yeah, you know, we we typically go off the rail way in the beginning, but we stay, we kept our business going all the way up until the end, and then y'all wanted to explode when we were already over our time. What's uh? Well, last one. What's last question? Uh, Dan says, "What's the space for standard carry, Joe?" Uh, tasers. <laughs> and Such a stunner kill, thanks, right? Yeah. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for coming out. I hope you had a great time. To see how much we know about real stuff. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, legitimately, All right, though, boys. Yeah. Make sure you don't think that we're like actual level one hundred wizards. We we're out here. We're just using regular gear. We're we're just trying this stuff out um we're we're trying it out we're using it we're seeing what we do and we don't like but we're not like like seals or someone special or doing fancy things um we're literally just trying it out and saying hey was this thing worth the money sometimes the answer is yes and sometimes the answer is no and hopefully we can give you guys those honest and real answers when you buy gear or see something on instagram that costs a billion dollars and it's a piece of garbage that we're Put doing the way. same thing you we guys did, do we did our job more than we trained those super yeah. special cool guys they train more than they do their job, right? We did our job way more than we trained. So we have 10% of training and 90% of doing our job. But we are not, like Walsh and Cody say, level one, one million wizards. Yeah. I'm just going to say that we, we're doing, we do the same things you guys do. We watch YouTube and we buy a bunch of stuff we don't need, but we're recording it. That's the only difference. The only difference. <laughs> now you know. Stop. Yeah. Giving him stuff like that to review. Stop. He's like, he's like you got to review those. I have a bunch of rifles to show you guys. I have a Dude. bunch. Of to get to those. He's um, gotten I'll, to the point now. He goes to review a belt, and he has thirty of them sitting on the table, and that's not even all of them. There's a lot. Aubrey says, "My first time here, I didn't know the rules. So if you're just joining us, uh, just know that we we have an agenda, and your objective as the viewers is to." negate that agenda, ask your questions, send us on wild goose chases. We would much rather do that. We'll start with the objective and we'll gladly just go off and look at what modular plate, plate frame modular. That was fun. That was pretty cool. Yeah. It sent us off on a goose chase that we really enjoy. Fanny packs. Um, for right. me, you guys are going to see on Sunday, I have a uh, primary arms MD 25, the ACSS version versus the hollow sun 503g which is also the acss they both use some different housings one of them has a bigger bigger aperture i think i said 30 millimeter in the actual video but i think it's only 25 but we're just going to go with it because whatever it's already done now um it's it's really good optic but they're both different i think those are my absolutely favorite red dots so if you're in the market for red dot i think you should be choosing between the two of them 
simply because they have the ACSS. They marry so well with the magnifier. They are my go-to. I think there's no better unless you want to go for a cheaper like budget uh, Romeo 5. Like a Romeo 5 or one of those, that's really all I recommend. Those super high-end. I need to get a aim point. Like you're going to spend $700 on a red dot? Cool, bro. I have no idea why. It's a dot. It's the same technology from 1993. Neat. Hey, uh, I'm bowing out real quick. Uh, I got to go take care of some stuff. So it was great chatting with everybody. Thanks for uh, Thanks for another night of the live chat. And uh, y'all know what I have to do. So I still haven't done any of it. Uh, long distance shooting and shooting plates. So, all right, guys. Take it Love easy. You, Joe. Love you, Joe. Love you, bro. And then, Cody, do you want to talk about what we're going to do with the O-lights real quick? Yeah, we're just going to, you know, I know I don't do a lot of videos, but Braden Walsh is going to come over. We're going to play with those lights. I uh, already kind of know, have a pretty good idea. Just lose Cody. Either one. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go over and see Cody. Oh, you're back. So you're back. Go ahead. Cody lost you. I'm back. Yeah, you're back now. Sorry. So it. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. We're gonna compare those lights. I already have a pretty good idea which one's my favorite. Uh, but we'll try to we'll try to kind of understand that turbo and see if it has any practical uses and. Uh, You'll have to wait and see what we find out. Cool. But anyway, appreciate you guys coming out. Hey, uh, the couple of new guys that we had tonight, consider subscribing to our channel. We do this every Thursday at 8, 8.30 Central Time. Uh, and come back next week and bring some more questions. We, This is where we interact with you guys. We can, you know, talk one-on-one -on -one or with a group of guys instead of, just you know, commenting on videos and stuff like that. We really enjoy interacting with you guys this way. So uh, come on back next week, and we'll do it again. Cool. Take care, everyone. Have a good night. See you all later. Take care.